hope you're doing fabulous this Thursday evening. I just want to come love on you guys real quick. I know I said the, the other day that I would be making um, uh, part one. Then it ended up part two, part three of the power of a praying wife. Whatever the Lord wants me to say, I will gladly do it. So I just want to come on here and tell you guys, um, I was going to talk about the power of a praying husband, but that is not what the Lord wanted me to talk about tonight. So as soon as he releases me, I will be jumping into that. So excited to get into that and the, the truth from the word of God and just build um, husbands up and encourage them of their God-given position as a leader in the home, the spiritual leader in the home and what their position is and just how they can truly honestly affect their family in so many ways. But I want to come on here and love on you guys with one scripture. And I just want to tell you guys, I want to encourage you. You know, we live in a world that is so full of, of hatred and evil and, and wickedness and deception and lies and games and, and manipulation and um, so many evil things out here. But guys, I want to encourage you to set your mind on things that are above, especially you believers out there that are listening to me, no, beloved, that we are not from this, this world is not our home. We are passing through. We are pilgrims in this life. Our home is in eternity with Jesus. And you know what? For anyone listening to this, I'm going to jump right in and I'm going to just punch the devil in his face right now with this. And I'm going to give you an opportunity. If you're not saved, if you do not know the Lord, if you have been backslidden, if you have, um, Turn back. Being backslidden is just not going forward with God. It's backsliding. It's going backwards, going back into your old ways, your old behavior, your old thinking. Guys, if we're not advancing for the kingdom of God, we are backslidden. And that's the darn truth. And that's what the word says. But I want to give you guys an opportunity right now, right out of the gate. If you are saying, Angel, I'm lost. I'm broken. I'm hurting. I'm wounded. I know I need the Lord. I'm going to give you an opportunity right now, beloved. All you have to do is say, Jesus, I need you. Jesus, forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart. Wash me in your blood. I give you my yesterday. I give you my today. I give you my tomorrow. I give you my forever. Lord, restore me. In Jesus' name, and beloved, you're say that's all you have to say. The devil lies to so many people that they have to pray this eloquent prayer. They have to have all these big, fabulous, fancy words. No, the devil is a liar. No, you do not. God knows our heart. He knows our thoughts. He is so loving. He, oh my God, he's so loving. He's so merciful. And he's calling out to us. He calls out to us. He calls out to us. The Holy Spirit woos and draws us. And I just, I just right now, I'm, I want to say this to anybody listening to this under the sound of my voice. If you know in your heart, if you know that the Holy Spirit, whether, whether you know what to call it, it's Jesus, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, whatever, you know that there is a higher power, whatever that you know is pressing on your heart. He is tugging at your heart. You feel that battle going on. Beloved, that is Jesus Christ. That is the creator of the universe. That is the savior of the world. World. He beloved is calling out to you. My God. Oh, and I feel this. He is calling out to you. He is saying, run to me. Come to me. Let me hold you. Let me love you. Let me protect you. But guys, when we get ourselves out from the covering of God, see in this world that everything in this world is so contrary to the word of God and everything in this world, the world lies to us. The media lied to us. The TV lied to us. Hollywood lies to us. And they say, oh, hey, oh, you know, if you do this, if you do that, you'll be happy. No, here's the truth. If you start taking a little bit of drugs, the reality is you're going to be a drug addict and you're going to be, you're going to be strung out on drugs. Your life is going to be horrible. You're going to go through so much heartache and pain. That's the reality. But God bless the Lord. But God, oh, praise God. Guys, here's the reality says, Hey, if you go to a party and you drink this little drink, you're okay. If you drink every week and you're going to be fine. No, the devil is a liar. What happens is you become an alcoholic and it costs you guys. There is a price to pay for sin. Oh, and I feel this. I feel this because I hate the devil and anywhere I can, I can expose the lies that he, he says, I will do it because of the love of God in my heart. Guys, here's the thing. The devil says, just smoke this, you know, just smoke this, just smoke this, do whatever. Oh, you'll have a great life. All your troubles will go away. No, they won't. No, they won't. The devil is a liar. Oh, the devil is a liar. I buried my oldest son's father because of drugs. 
It was because of drugs. Of course, it was an accident, but it was because of drugs. The devil is a liar. He's out for keeps. He doesn't play fair. And when he allures you, the Bible says that we are allured away by our own lustful desires. That doesn't mean lust like, oh, take your clothes off. Let's jump in bed. Lust is anything, anything that you, beloved, that is a temptation to you. Anything. So, beloved, I hope you hear the cry of God tonight. I hope you hear. You were created for so much more than that. Jesus died. My God, he hung there with his arms stretched out wide. Oh, bless the Lord. He hung there and he took the beating for us. He took the beating for us because he loved us. He took the penalty of death. He paid the ultimate price so we wouldn't have to pay that price. Oh, beloved. I want you to know in whatever state you're in, Jesus loves you. He died for you in that state that you're in right now. Hi, messed up, tore up from the floor up. You don't even know what day it is. You don't even know what's going on in life. Whether you listen to this on Facebook or YouTube, Jesus loves you. He loves you. He died for you. And he said, I came, oh, he came to give us life and a more abundant life. I know I'm going to live in the abundant life. And if I have to fight every day of my life to get to that place and stay in that place, beloved, I'll do it because it's worth it. It's worth it because of the price that it, it cost Jesus. It wasn't in vain. And every time we sin, we nail him to the cross again. Oh, he's so good. He's so good and he loves us so much. Oh, aren't you tired of being stolen from? Aren't you tired of being robbed? Aren't you tired of being devoured? Aren't you tired of your life looking horrible? Aren't you tired of the heartache and the pain and the suffering? Oh, beloved, beloved. My heart is burning. My heart is burning with the, the passion of God, the love of God that he has for us. My heart is burning knowing, beloved, that God has a plan. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to give you a hope, a future, and an expected end. Bless the Lord. He has a plan for us. But guys, here's the thing. We have a free will. That's the greatest gift that Jesus gave us because we're not robots. But we were created to worship. We were created to worship and it was him, but the devil lies to us. So we worship ourselves. We worship money, status, fame. We worship, we worship all the things of this world. We are created to worship Jesus. And beloved, I, I want to bring this one scripture. This is what the Lord told me to say. Jeremiah 18 and 6. It says, Israel, can I not do to you as this potter has done to his clay? As the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand. I'm going to read it again. It says, oh, Israel, can I not do to you as this potter? He is the potter. As he has done, uh, uh, excuse me, as done to his clay. As the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand. God is that one little scripture and he spoke that to my heart. I just felt his love. I've been with people this week I've 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 walked through things very horrible horrific things with people this week my heart is broken over it and I see the effects of sin I see the effects of disobedience I see the effects of so many things beloved I've gotten phone calls and text messages and praise God praise God my life is here to bring glory and honor to God and be used in whatever way. And here's the thing. So many people, I'm going to just tell, put another punch in the devil's face. So many people think you have to be a preacher, teacher, evangelist, a prophet. A, that The devil is a lie. No, you don't. You know what your title is? You know what my title is? Obedience. That is what our title is. Who cares? The world wants to be called, oh, I'm this and I'm that and I'm prophetess bubblegum and I'm evangelist blabbermouth. That, that stuff is so, so ridiculous because then that goes to people's minds and then people start worshiping them and not God. They worship them and they idolize them. No, no, no. We are the clay. He is the potter. We are in his hands. Oh God, what is he? He doesn't have to do anything else for us. He's already done it all. Beloved, I want you to know no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're facing, nothing is impossible with God. You hear me? Nothing is impossible with God. He loves you. He is for you. He is waiting for you to give him permission to take your life, to take the broken pieces of your life and make something beautiful out of it. But beloved, you have to walk in obedience. 
So, Father, right now, I pray for each and every person under the sound of my voice, whether on YouTube, whether on Facebook, wherever this reaches them. Holy Spirit, touch them, minister to them. Lord, reveal truth to them. Take every blinder from their heart and eyes. Let the veil fall for them in Jesus' name. Lord, let them hear the clarion call of God calling out to them, wooing and drawing them into all truth. Holy Spirit, touch them and wrap your arms of love around them. Lord, I pray that you would saturate them with your love and your truth, God, and that you would reveal your perfect will to their life. Life. Lord, let them know they are cherished, loved, adored. You died for them. You have a plan for them. Bless the Lord in Jesus' name. Beloved, if you prayed the prayer at the beginning of this, you are saved. Your name goes in the Lamb's Book of Life. You are on your way to heaven. So I encourage you, wherever you're at, find a church in your area that is preaching the Word of God. They're standing on the truth. And they are not compromising the word of God. Get into the word, pray, and seek the face of God. Surround yourself. And guys, here, birds of a feather flock together. You can't go higher with the Lord hanging out with losers. And I'm not dogging anybody, but I'm just saying, you have to surround yourself with people that are like-minded, like heart, like spirit. Okay, if you're if you are struggling with with a lustful spirit and things lustful things of the flesh, don't go hanging out with people that sleep around and have no morals, no values. They don't live right. They live hoochie lives. They they live they live a life contrary to the word. You can't do it. If you struggle with alcohol, you can't go by the same places and the same people and expect to have victory. You can't. If you have struggled with addictions and drugs or pill popping, whatever, you cannot go around those same people baby because the bible says that when you come to the lord here's the truth of the word the bible says that old things pass away and behold all things become new you are a new creation in christ that's why the bible says to renew your mind every day renew your mind get in the word god says you are called you are chosen you are loved you are adored you are from a royal priesthood okay that's who you are you are not what you've done those were choices and maybe bad choices. That's not who you are. You are the redeemed of the Lord. You are the blessed of the Lord. You are the healed of the Lord. You are who God says you are. So walk in that. That's why you get in the word and you renew your mind. So I love you guys. I thank you guys for your messages, the calls, the text messages, the private messages. I know that God's using it. It doesn't matter how many people like him or share him. I know the Lord told me many, many, many people are watching this and it doesn't matter. He sees it. He knows it. And his will is going to be done through these for his glory. So guys, I bless you. I bless you with the love of the Lord. I pray that you are encouraged. You are strengthened, that you feel the love of the Lord, that you, your, your faith is stirred that your faith is stirred to trust the Lord more deeper no matter what you're facing no matter what you're going through sorry guys my niece is here she got shots today it's, it's not a good time right now but just know beloved that God has a plan for you no situation is helpless no situation is hopeless he is there for you and he loves you God bless you guys